ensure that the lines are long enough. Then, ensure that the ventilator is as close to the patient as possible. Remove the ECG leads from their normal positions and place them on the side. While doing so, ensure that the patient is always monitored. Remove the ECG leads from the chest and place them on the sides as shown in the diagram. Assess the patient's skin for any pressure sores and cover the pressure points with foam dressings. Loosen the ventilator tubings. Place a bed sheet under the patient above the sliding sheet. Remove the patient's gown. Place the pillows on top of the patient. Place a bed sheet over the patient. Then transfer the lines to the other side. Roll the bed sheets. Slide the patient across the bed away from the ventilator. Turn patient into lateral position towards the ventilator, then lower into prone position. Place a pillow under the patient's face. Then centralize and tidy the patient. Place the leads at the back of the patient in mirror position. Cover the patient with the patient gown. Check the position of the pelvis and anterior chest pillows, ensuring that the abdomen is free. Check the positioning of the face cushion, avoiding eye and ear injuries and breakage of the endotracheal tube. Ensure eyes are clean and lubricated with simple ointment, then close with tape. Check the positions of the hands, anterior leg region and toes. Perform two hourly repositioning of hands and legs, rotating positions A, B, C and D every two hours. Ensure the patient's shoulders are relaxed and drop towards the chest to avoid injury to the brachial plexus. Ensure the patient is not lying on any tubes or devices. Maintain reverse Trendelenburg to reduce the risk of aspiration. Ensure the ECG leads are repositioned posteriorly. Loosen the ventilator tubing and move the ventilator closer to the bed. Ensure the lines are long enough. Then change the leads. Loosen the bed sheet, then place a sliding sheet underneath.
Place a bed sheet over the patient and roll it. Meanwhile, transfer the lines to the other side. Slide the patient across the bed towards the ventilator. Turn the patient into lateral position away from the ventilator, then lower into supine position. Then, centralize and tidy the patient. Important pointers. Assign one trained personnel to monitor the vital signs during prone positioning. Aspirate feeds from the nasogastric tube and disconnect. Clamp tubes and drains and place them between the patient's arms or legs. Assess the patient's skin for any pressure sores or broken skin. Ensure that the high-risk breakdown areas are padded with foam dressings.